so in this session we are going for a volume mesh a 3d map mesh we are using a map mesh for creation of a brick or a hexa element so what exactly the hexa is so if we are having in a block over here so we will go for the meshing of this particular block in the way which we are going to create over here so if I am going over here I will create a straight line and again one straight line in this fashion so we are going to create a series of an elements in this fashion which are nothing but in a smaller smaller elements so we will fill over here so in this way we will be going for the creation of a hex mesh so we are going for the creation of a hex mesh the procedure required for the creation of a hex mesh is something different than your tetra mesh again when we are going for the creation of a hex mesh that means we are having again one limitation we are knowing the limitation which occurs in the area mesh with respect to the mapped option so go for the preprocessor when we are going for the area mesh with respect to the map over here so when we are saying I need a map mesh with respect to area we are having an, a limitation of three or four sided area but when we are going for the creation of a map mesh with respect to the creation of a volume so we are again having an, one limitation what exactly it is we are going to see it so first create a volume create a block over here I will create a block just having an, a 10 width height as a 5 and the depth again as a 10 and just say ok now we are having a one block over here I need to mesh this particular block how to go for a free mesh we are very well familiar with now we will be going for a creation of brick mesh so once our modeling is over we need to go for an element type so element type again we are going to use it as a solid 45 so add it over here just say again add and overwrite that 3D mask as a 45 and just say ok or enter from your keyboard just close it once we are adding our element type again we should go for a meshing option and now in meshing we should go for size control say manual size over here set our global over here we are knowing how to set our size control for area and a line in a direct way but when we are going for a map mesh we should set our element edge length with respect to the global value say global volume controls because this is a 3d object so we are going to control for a volume say volume control and it will ask you for a particular value just enter it as a one just say ok so in this way we are going to control it now again same mesh in a mesh we should go for a volume we are going for the volume mesh so in a volume we are knowing how to go for a free mesh if I am saying free selecting a volume just say ok over here so once we are creating a volume with respect to the free option we are getting a tetra element but if we are needing for a brick element so we need to go for we need to a map mesh so in that way we should go for a map mesh over here so first clear this particularly tetra mesh clear a volume mesh for this thing now plot your volume over here now I need to go for a hex mesh same mesh in a volume itself same map mesh once we are saying on a map mesh we are again having a limitation that particular volume must be of in three or four four or a six sided so we are having on a six sided over here so we can directly go for that particular mesh code just single click over here again select our volume what we need to go for on a brick mesh and just say ok so now once we are saying ok we are having an, a 3D mesh over here. So in this way we are going for a brick mesh. So plot control 
numbering we can switch on the numbering for elements over here as a usual pattern and now we can check the quality of a mesh each and every element is maintaining as a brick shape over here that's why we are calling it as a brick mesh either we can call it as an hexa mesh so in this way we should go for a map mesh over here so when we are going for a map mesh we should have an one limitation which we need to overcome is that volume must be three or four or six sided so if i am going for a meshing of this particularly over here so clear this particular clear a volume say okay now plot this particular volume if i am going for a volume which is not having an straight line connectivity if it is having an one interruption over here so it will create a trouble for going for a map mesh same modeling again create volume over here but i need a volume on a side face so i am going to use my work plane switch on our work plane over here now i am going to create a solid exactly from on a side face say offset that particularly with respect to the key points i am going to select for a four key points of that particular side face now your x y is not oriented with respect to the side face so we should rotate that particularly so we should go for an offset of a working plane just single click over here we are going to offset it with respect to the increments of a 90 degrees so we will set it over here by an 90 degrees if i am going to rotate this particular working plane by an 90 degrees with respect to the y axis so i will be getting an x oriented xy plane oriented with respect to the side face so we should see it over here in a line plot it's clearly visible now so rotate this particularly with respect to the 90 degrees over here once we are rotating just say okay and see your diagram over here in a front view now once we are rotating aligning our xy plane with respect to the side face we should make our working plane an active coordinate system So change your active coordinate with respect to the working plane because we are needing a new sketch with respect to the working plane. Now go for the volumes by center and corner that. I need to go for a drawing over here. I am creating a width of 1.5, height of 1, and a depth of 12. Just say okay. So. we are going for the creation of a map mesh over here if we are having an one interruption attached to over here so we are not supposed to go for a map mesh in this case so if it is a volume over here so go for a meshing option meshing same mesh say map mesh for a three or four sided area you select that particularly and say okay over here so we are having an again meshing with respect to that particularly but it is not having an a part with respect to that particular volume if i am again going over here and say multi plot this particular volume is separate entity over here and this particularly is in a separate one so if this is a case so clear our mesh first say plot our volumes again now in a modeling itself we will go for an operate say booleans and add these volumes we are having two separate volumes we are going for the addition of these two so now we are having only one volume we can see over here just say plot and volume over here now again go for the meshing and say mesh with respect to the map four or six sided area now it is in a full volume so it's not possible to go for that particularly so when we are going for a map mesh we must be cautious that our volume must have either four or a six sided area which is not having any kind of interruption while it is connecting front to back either from top to bottom or the from left to right so it must have a straight line connectivity with, without any kind of a interruption so whenever we are going for a brick mesh or a hexa mesh our geometry of that particular volume must be a regular rectangle or a square which is not having an any kind of an interruption on its side edges which are connected by an sides 
so these are the errors which you will occur when we are going for a map mesh so once we are having a this particular geometry so how to go for this particular mesh